What is up guys, my name is Ignas, welcome back to the channel. Last week Facebook launched plans on how they think the next generation of internet will look like and the CEO of AMD, Lisa Su, joined CNBC to discuss how their company is positioned to benefit from it. This is her take. We believe you know, this, you know, this vision of the next five to ten years, whether you're talking about high performance computing, artificial intelligence, machine learning or the metaverse, you just need more performance and actually you need more uh, tailoring and customization of um, compute capability. So, you know, we're investing heavily in this thing called heterogeneous computing. It's the idea that, you know, you have the right uh, compute for the right workload and, you know, that's across our entire portfolio. So, you know, CPUs, GPUs and um, frankly, this is where Xilinx really uh, comes in nicely with um, FPGAs and um, adaptive computing. So together we'll have all the components to enable that metaverse and much, much more. So their portfolio really aligns with what Facebook's metaverse will require. But is the competition really that far off? I've picked two more semiconductor names and for today's comparison we have AMD, ticker symbol AMD, analog devices ADI and micron technology ticker MU. To make the comparison possible we will be looking into nine different factors. Last four quarter earnings results, annual revenue growth, analyst price targets, forward price to earnings ratio, price to sales ratio, return on equity, cash per share, current ratio and dividend yield. The best company under each factor will get a point so it is possible to have from 0 to 9 points and in the end the stock with the most points will be considered the winner of this comparison. I understand that it could be tough to sit through 10 minutes of analysis so I will bring the results up for you to take a look into first. So these are here the results and from the factors that we chose AMD got 3 points, analog devices 1 and micron technology 4. This means that with 4 points micron technology is considered the winner of this comparison. Now if you are still interested in how we got here then continue on with the analysis. The first factor are the last 4 quarterly earnings results. When a company reports earnings they are compared to expectations of analysts. So earnings can either beat expectations, meet them or miss them. We will consider that beating expectations is a plus 1, meeting plus 0 0.5 and missing 0. Then we sum the results up to a minimum of 0 and a maximum of 4 and in the end the stock with the highest sum gets a point for this factor. So these are quarterly earnings for AMD and Q4 of 2020 beat expectations, Q1 of 2021 beat, Q2 beat and Q3 beat. So with 4 beats in quarterly earnings we get a sum of 4. Quarter learnings for analog devices and Q4 of 2020 beat expectations, Q1 of 2021 beat, Q2 beat and Q3 beat. So with 4 beats in quarter learnings we again get a sum of 4. Quarter learnings for Micron and Q4 of 2020 beat expectations, Q1 of 2021 beat, Q2 beat and Q3 beat. So with 4 beats in quarter learnings we again get a sum of 4. Results for the last 4 quarter learnings factor are in the table. And with equal sums of 4, no companies assigned a point for it. Second factor is the annual revenue growth. As investors, we want to find that the revenues of a company are on a steady increase. We will take a look into the results of the four most recent years and compare them one by one. If revenue was on the increase from one year to the next, we will consider it as a plus one, and if it was on the decrease, it will be a plus zero. Then we sum the results up to a minimum of zero and a maximum of three, and in the end, the stock with the highest sum gets a point for this factor. So these are revenues for AMD, and going into 2018, there was an increase to 6.47 billion US dollars. Then into 2019 we had another increase to 6.73 billion and into 2020 there was one more increase to 9.76 billion dollars. So with three increases in annual revenues we get a sum of three. Revenues for ADI and going into 2018 there was an increase to 6.22 billion US dollars. Then into 2019 we had a decrease to 5.99 billion and into 2020 there was another decrease to 5.6 billion dollars. So with one increase and two decreases in annual revenues we get a sum of 1. Annual revenues for Micron and going into 2019 there was a decrease to 23.41 billion US dollars. Then into 2020 we had another decrease to 21.43 billion and into 2021 there was an increase to 27.7 billion dollars. So with two decreases and one increase in annual revenues we get a sum of 1. Results for the annual revenue growth factor are in the table and with a sum of 
3 AMD gets the first point. Factor number 3 are the analysts price targets. As investors we want to find that the current share price is below the average analyst price target. If the current price is under the average we will consider the stock as undervalued and in the end the company with share price is furthest away from the average analyst target to the lower side gets a point for this factor. So for AMD we have 34 price targets of analysts. They range from the lows of 100 to the highest of $180 per share. The average is at $133.07 and the current share price is at $120.23. This means that there is still around 10.7% of room for the current price to reach the average target of analysts. For analog devices we have 25 price targets of analysts. They range from the lows of $165 to the highest of $215 per share. The average is at $193.16 and the current share price is at $173.49. So there is still around 11.3% room for the current price to reach the average target of analysts. For Micron we have 35 price targets of analysts. They range from the lows of 58 to the highest of $172 per share. The average is at $98.52 and the current share price is at $69.10. So there is still around 42.6% of room for the current price to reach the average target of analysts. Results for the analyst's price targets factor in the table and with the highest percentage Micron gets the first point. Factor number 4 is the forward price to earnings ratio. It is calculated by taking the current share price and dividing it by the estimated future earnings per share. This is the standard price to earnings calculation with the difference that earnings here are predicted by analysts. So in the end the stock with the lowest forward price to earnings ratio gets a point for this factor. For AMD the forward price to earnings is at 41.15. Forward price to earnings for ADI is at 24.51 and Micron has the forward price to earnings at 7.28. Forward price to earnings ratios are in the table and with the lowest value Micron gets another point. The next factor is the price to sales ratio. It is calculated by taking the company's market cap and dividing it by the trailing 12 months worth of sales. The formula suggests to be looking for a company with a low market cap and a high result in sales. So in the end the stock with the lowest price to sales ratio gets a point for this factor. AMD has the price to sales at 10.08. Price to sales for ADI is at 10.21. And Micron has the price to sales at 2.78. Price to sales ratios are in the table. And with the lowest value, Micron gets another point. Factor number 6 is return on equity. The percentage here suggests how well the company is managed and if money from investors are efficiently handled. So in the end, the stock with the highest return on equity percentage gets a point for this factor. AMD has the return on equity at 72.14%. Return on equity for ADI is at 14.15%. And Micron Technology has the return on equity at 14.14%. Return on equity percentages are in the table. And with the highest result, AMD gets one more point. Next factor is the cash per share. The ratio here suggests the company's ability to reinvest and expand, but also to potentially buy back shares or pay dividends. So in the end, the stock with the highest cash per share ratio gets a point for this factor. AMD has cash per share at 2.97. Cash per share for analog devices is at 4.02. And Micron has the cash per share at 7.72. Cash per share ratios are in the table. And with the highest value, another point goes to Micron. Factor number 8 is the current ratio. It is calculated by taking the current assets and dividing them by the current liabilities. As investors, we want to find that the company is able to cover its debts with assets, but also that they are still actually being leveraged. So in the end, the stock with the highest current ratio under 3 gets a point for this factor. AMD has current ratio at 2.24. Current ratio for ADI is at 1.11. And the Micron has the current ratio at 3.1. Current ratios are in the table. And with the highest value under 3, a point goes to AMD. The last factor is the dividend yield. It is calculated by taking the annual dividend per share and dividing it by the share price. A high yield may suggest that the company is sharing profits with shareholders and that is a great passive income source that we as investors are looking for. So in the end the stock with the highest dividend yield percentage gets a point for this factor. Unfortunately AMD is currently not paying any dividends. Analog Devices pays an annual dividend of $2.76 per share which is a yield of 1.6%. And Micron Technology just started paying a quarterly dividend of $0.10 cents, which should take it to an annual dividend yield of 0.56%. Dividend yields are in the table. 
and with the highest percentage analog devices gets the first point. And that was it, if you got value or new ideas then make sure to push that thumbs up, it helps the channel a lot. Which of the free semiconductor names are you holding? Share your best pick in a comment below. If you are interested to know exactly when I buy or sell any stock then consider memberships. By becoming a member you will get access to Discord, where I share the stock watchlist and all the buys and sells exactly when I do them. This could be a great option to track my moves closely. Last week we did a stock comparison on three other semiconductor manufacturers and there was also an update for our technical analysis and Utoro stock trading portfolio series. If you are interested in any of these then click on a video currently on the screen. And that was it from my side, thank you for watching and I will be seeing you all in the next one.